uh, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah, the mighty, mighty God of Israel, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Mekadishken, the Lord Jehovah Sabaoth, the tremendous God of Israel, he has spoken with me again. And in this conversation, the Lord has spoken about the judgment of God that is coming to Kenya. Again, the Lord Almighty, Jehovah Elohim, he has spoken with me about the judgment of God that is coming to Kenya. I see Kenya burning. I see Kenya burning, and it's the most severest judgment that can ever befall a nation. I've never seen this type of judgment befall a nation. And therefore, the Lord is asking for repentance. He's asking Kenya to go into national repentance. He's asking for repentance from this land. God Almighty, the mighty God of Israel, Jehovah Ori, the tremendous Holy One of Israel, is asking for repentance from Kenya. I see Kenya burning, and burning in the most terrible way ever. I see Nairobi burning. I see Rift Valley burning. I see every province burning. The Lord is seeking out, is looking out, is pursuing. The Lord is looking for you, Kenya. He's pursuing this generation. And he's telling you, Kenya, that look, look at the mighty, mighty miracles are placed in the Mideast. So, Right now, the Lord has raised 17 cripples due to the lock and top of the line that is seen now. Among the thousands of Christians that are in this land, there are hundreds upon hundreds of blind eyes that have opened. The biggest revival in the of the Bible is happening in Kenya. It is for your good. But the Lord is demanding for repentance. I see Kenya burning. I see the nation burning. Nairobi is all aflame. Rift Valley is burning. So that tells you that there is need for repentance in this country. The Lord is asking for repentance because he expects that these mighty works should have won the hearts of Kenyans and drew, drew them close, closer to God. I see a lot of burning. And so, those of you that have gone out against the Lord, you know that you are responsible for this judgment. Because why would God be judging such a classic revival nation? Why? Why would the Lord judge such a classic revival nation, the classroom for the nations of the world, the example nation? And that should really speak so much to you, Kenya. What have you done wrong when the favor of God was well manifest? The Lord is asking for national repentance. I see Kenya burning. And at one point, I will have to gather all the leaders of this country and gather the entire nation and bring them before the Lord in national repentance in order to preserve the revival of the Lord in the land. At one point, I'm going to start engaging with the government and all the leaders of the country that there may be a national repentance, that the Lord may safeguard, save the country from what I have seen coming. What I've seen coming is unbelievable. There, is, there was nowhere to run. I tried to run. There was nowhere to run. Remember, when you have such mega, mega ancient prophets who walk very close, whom the cloud of God come and settle on them, walking with God so close like that. 
then the Lord is simply saying that take advantage of them because they can see. They can see far. Look at the revival they have brought you. Look at the government writing a letter from the presidency and saying, thank you that you came, that the Lord sent you and you accepted. And look at how you healed these two tremendous ones and restored the power of the blood of Jesus in this land. And now they are normal and useful citizens of the country. Every country would long to have that scenario, that situation where the cripples are being harvested. Look at the wonder of the crippled child, Odokano, that whose limb and one leg and one hand were not formed, the right hand and the right leg stamped, and the Lord created columns and watered everything and lifted them up. At one decree, when I said I have come to restore the authority and the power of the blood of Jesus. And so surely Kenya must repent. And I'm available. I'm going to have to mobilize the national repentance to save Kenya. Otherwise, there will be no Kenya. God has spoken with me. So this is the time where all jokes scandal, all jokes aside, all your opin opinionations aside. And so the country has now to retrace her path back to the Lord. Everybody must now receive Jesus. Everybody in Kenya that the Lord may save the country. I know that I must organize for national repentance. I must consult the leadership, the government. They put together national repentance for everybody and all leaders who come together. And then to have a national repentance. And all people of Kenya to observe one day of national repentance. I have seen what is coming to Kenya. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless Kenya. May your wisdom not fail you on this one. Shalom, have a rim. Eretov. Tada. Tada.